Banner Truth is a mo most well known as a book publisher, as I'm sure you know. Um, but we also produce a monthly magazine and we also organise a number of conferences in different parts of the world. So I've already mentioned the Australian conference here. Uh, we run an annual conference in North America for pastors mm -hmm. and also a, a young people's conference and a minister's conference in the UK. And one or two um, sort of shorter day things as well that we do. So we started back in the 50s. The first thing that was ever done by the Brand of Truth was actually a magazine. Okay. Uh, when the first edition of the magazine was produced, uh, there was no real idea that there the might be a second one, there might not be a second one, nobody was quite sure. Um, but the second one was produced and eventually it became a monthly magazine and carries on today. Uh, and then shortly after the magazine was produced, um, the book publishing began. Mm -hmm. So it was the late, late 1950s. and. A number of people became aware that there were books that had been out of print for many years, mm -hmm. but were valuable books and really spoke into the issues of the day um, and the church scene that, that there was in, particularly at that time, of course, it was, it was in Britain, it started in Britain, uh, and the church scene that existed in Britain in the late 50s and then on into the 60s. Um, and so uh, that's where we started really p reprinting things right. from days gone by. Um, a lot of it was Puritan uh, works uh, and we still do that today. So mm -hmm. we still have Puritan books that we produce today. And they're books which we believe have a life. Um, they're, not, they're not something which is just good for today. We believe that they're good for years to come as well. So we still, for instance, have in print some of the very first books that we ever produced in 1958, 59, yeah, and they're yeah. still in print today. Yeah, so, so some of the to Thomas selling. Watson, yeah. yeah, some of the Thomas Watson books that we do, for instance, um, they're still in print today and still selling. Mm -hmm. uh, and I would hope, God willing, if we're still around in a hundred years, that we'll still be doing them a hundred years because they'll still be useful and helpful to Christians then. 